Hello, I'm Larry the O for Deskew Technologies, and I'm going to talk to you now about widgets in Deskew's Gig Performer software, the most intuitive, powerful, and stable plug-in host for live performance available. Widgets are the way the Gig Performer lets you control parameters of your virtual instruments or effects or signal processing plugins while you play. When you are programming your Gig Performer rack spaces, you can always open the user interface for a plugin and make whatever adjustments you want. But to do a filter sweep or crossfade two sounds while you're playing, opening a plugin isn't going to do it. What you need is to be able to grab an on-screen control and make the change, or better yet, use a hardware control on your keyboard or other MIDI controller. And that is where widgets come in. A widget is a kind of go-between. On one side, the widget is linked to a plug-in parameter, and on the other side, to a control, whether on-screen or hardware. That's all it is, but once you start to think about it, all sorts of benefits show up. For a start, you only create widgets for the parameters you need. So instead of dealing with all the controls on the plugin UI, you only see the ones you're going to actually use. And widgets can look like sliders or knobs or buttons or switches. You can have meter widgets to show you levels, label widgets for whatever information you might want to see, and you can arrange widgets in convenient layouts on virtual rack panels, which can even be color-coded for quick visual recognition. Let's add a knob for real-time filter cutoff sweeps on a virtual instrument synth. Here, you see Gig Performer's Connections view, showing a simple rack space with one virtual instrument, one effect, and one Gig Performer mixer module. We click this button in the upper left corner to go to the Performance view of Gig Performer, and then click the Edit button. We are going to use the rack panel that is automatically created, but you can create more just by clicking the New Panel button. If I click on the rack panel, you can see there are a number of options available for the background. I'm going to pick this nice blue because I like blue. On the left side is a list of all of the available widgets. There are draw bars for organ VIs, colored LED indicators, switches, LED buttons, meters, sliders, a variety of knobs, and labels. To make our filter sweep widget, we simply drag the widget type we want and drop it on the panel. We can place it, resize it, align multiple widgets, all that kind of good user interface layout stuff. To assign this slider widget to the filter cutoff, we choose the Synth VI from this list of plugins in our rack space. A list of all of the Synth's available parameters shows up, and we find and select the filter cutoff from the list. We could just as easily select the parameter by clicking the Open Plugin button to open the plugin's UI, clicking the Learn Parameter button, and moving the parameter control in the plugin UI. This method can be faster with VIs that offer a large number of parameters. There is a caption for the widget, which defaults to the parameter name in the list, but we want it to say Filter Cutoff, not Hertz, so I click the Customize Caption box and type in the label I want. Or I can select a label widget, which is easily resized and can look cooler too. And that's it. That's all it takes to add a widget. Exit the edit mode, and we can hear the filter move as we change the slider widget. Now, let's attach a hardware control. We go back to edit mode, select our widget, and click the MIDI tab here in the Properties section. Click the Learn button, move the hardware control, and voila! The widget is now controlled by a hardware control, and the parameter value at any time is displayed both graphically in a ring or a bar and textually. You can see how quick and easy it is to create and configure widgets. Panel layouts are stored with rack spaces, so every rack space you load can have a completely different set of controls and layout. Furthermore, you can define a default value for each widget to assume when the rack space is loaded, and 
every rack space variation stores the values of all of the widgets. So as soon as you call a variation, say for a different part of a song, the widgets and their associated parameters all jump to exactly where they should be, just like recalling a preset. Let's take a quick look at the next level. You can vary the filter cutoff over a limited range of values with the parameter scaling settings. If you set the minimum higher than the maximum, the value decreases as you increase the control. That can come in very handy when using it with widget groups. Each widget can be assigned to a widget group, and all the widgets in a group change when any one of them is changed. We can make a crossfader by assigning two volume widgets to the same widget group and then setting one widget to go from a low minimum value to a high maximum value and the other widget to go from a high minimum value to a lower maximum value. If I move one widget up, the other goes down, creating a crossfade. Very complex widget groups can be made, such as an intensity widget, where moving one control might introduce vibrato and distortion, increase filter resonance, and change wet-dry mix on a delay, each of those being parameters of separate plugins. The Sync button in the MIDI tab makes sure that widgets and hardware controllers with bi-directional communications reflect the same value regardless of which one is changed. This is especially useful when using hardware control surfaces. You can see how powerful widgets are, and there is much, much more you can do with them. Gig Performer's Rig Manager lets you reassign all of your widgets to different hardware controls in minutes for those gigs where you're using someone else's keyboard or if you use one controller at home and another on the road. Big improvements in widget functionality are already being planned for the next release of Gig Performer. And for really sophisticated applications, you can always use GP Script, Gig Performer's built-in scripting language. Dig into widgets and you will start to unlock the real live performance power of Gig Performer.